What sort of awful place is this? It's reality. Well, I think I'd prefer to be in Andalusia. Yeah, I think I'd prefer that too. Get in, please. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cast members of Enchanted. Where are they now? Oh, I just assumed that now that you're a country squire, you'd have more need of a sword. Ah, uh, no, still a lawyer. Ah, tragic. For this list, we'll be looking at our favorite actors from the 2007 film and what they've been up to in the years since. Did you watch this movie growing up? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Jodie Benson Having starred on Broadway before transitioning to voice acting, one of Benson's few on-screen performances is as Sam, Robert's secretary in Enchanted. Her appearance in the film is accompanied by references to her earlier work as the original voice of Ariel. She has no driver's license, no passport. I can't even find this place she comes from. What place? Andalusia. Andalasia. Yeah, whatever. The performer returned to voice acting following her live action gig. She has often reprised her roles as Ariel and Barbie from the Toy Story franchise, while also taking on new ones. Have we ever met? Uh -uh. I would have remembered. <laughs> Love your leg warmers. Nice ascot. The actor has worked extensively with well-established production companies like Warner Brothers and Disney. In fact, in 2011, she was deemed a Disney legend. She can regularly be heard in newly released animated film, television, and video games. I never thought I'd get to wear a real, what's it called again? Oh yeah, shirt. Number nine, Julie Andrews. As an established musical legend by the time this movie came out, Andrews' role as the narrator is kind of an Easter egg. She can be heard at the beginning and end of the movie, and her lines are reminiscent of classic fairy tales. And so, they all lived happily ever after. After the film, she went on to play Lily, the head fairy, in Tooth Fairy with Dwayne Johnson. She also voiced characters in more than one beloved animated franchise, playing Queen Lillian in the Shrek series and Gru's mom in the Despicable Me movies. I just wanted to congratulate you on stealing the pyramid. That was you, wasn't it? Or was it a villain who's actually successful? <laughs> in the 2020s, she's been heard narrating a different kind of story. From recounting a fairy tale to spreading Regency-era gossip, She's the voice of the elusive Lady Whistledown in Netflix's steamy show Bridgerton. You thought I was silenced, but you thought wrong. And if there is one thing you should know by now, it is that this author cannot keep quiet for long. Number 8. Rachel Covey Covey was less than 10 years old when she played Morgan, Robert's daughter, in the 2007 film. And when you go out, you don't want to wear too much makeup because otherwise the boys get the wrong idea and you know how they are. They're only after one thing. What's that? I don't know. Nobody will tell me. Although she appeared in a 2016 episode of What Would You Do, she hasn't done much professional acting work since. Instead, she's transitioned to writing and composing. Her first full-length musical, Painting Faye Salvez, was a part of the New York Musical Festival in 2017. Her second, Noise, got a workshop in New York City towards the end of 2022. Which follows a female doctor who's very much haunted by something in her past to the point that she endangers somebody. For those wondering, no, Kovi does not reprise her role in Enchanted's 2022 sequel, Disenchanted though eagle-eyed viewers can spot her in a brief cameo. Instead, Morgan is played by newcomer Gabriella Baldacchino. I can't. I'm not a true daughter of Andalasia. You are a true daughter of Andalasia. Because you are my daughter, Morgan. Calling pop culture superfans everywhere. Do you love to argue with WatchMojo's top 10 ranks? Introducing WatchMojo's first and very own party game. Bring your superpowers to the table and fight for your pick to be at the top of the list. It's all the fun of the comment section, but in real life. Number 7. Jeff Bennett The Johnny Bravo voice actor is one of three people to be cast as Pip the Chipmunk. He plays the wisecracking animated version of the furry creature in the original 2007 movie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, you mooks, just move it. We have got a face to put together here while it's still ingrained in our subcranium. Since then, Bennett has continued to voice act for film and television. He took over the role of Vincenzo E. Kowalski for the Penguins of Madagascar TV series, replacing Chris Miller from the big screen. My guess, he stumbled backwards. But why? 
Perhaps a localized seismic event of unknown origin. Bennett doesn't portray Pip in Enchanted's 2022 sequel, Disenchanted. However, he can be heard in a number of other animated works, such as the film Chippendale Rescue Rangers. You want a piece of me? Be my guest. Number 6. Adina Menzel before being cast as a Disney queen, Menzel played Nancy Tremaine, Robert's girlfriend in the 2007 film. The Broadway legend said she was flattered to be cast in the originally non-singing role. Yeah, usually you send those email cards with the digital flowers. Yeah. These are exquisite. Where do you find live doves in New York City? Yeah. In the years since, she's been involved in all sorts of artistic endeavors. From television to theater, video games to studio albums, she is a regular actor and singer. Undoubtedly, she's most well-known as the voice of Elsa in Frozen these days. She also appeared on Glee as the biological mother of Rachel Berry, and in 2021's Cinderella as the titular character's stepmom. She reprised her role as Nancy in 2022's Disenchanted. Unlike its predecessor, the sequel puts her top-notch voice to use. Number 5. Timothy Spall The English actor was well known by the time he was cast as Queen Nerissa's servant, Nathaniel. Sarah, Sarah, please, please, I beg of you, don't listen to that insane little vermin. In the years following, he continued his career in film and TV. Spall has since appeared in many historical dramas, from The King's Speech to Mrs. Lowry and Son to Spencer. He reprised his role as Peter Pettigrew in the Harry Potter film franchise and voiced Bayard the Bloodhound in the live-action Alice in Wonderland films. Find the scent of human girl and earn your freedom. For my wife and pups as well. Everyone will go home. In one of his few non-acting gigs, he and his wife appeared in a series documenting their voyage around the British coast on a Dutch barge. Spall's character doesn't make a return in Enchanted's 2022 sequel. However, the actor has plenty of other projects in the works for fans to enjoy. Let me guess, you're uh, looking for a beautiful girl too? No, I'm looking for a prince, actually. Number 4. James Marsden Giselle! <laughs> I've been dreaming! Since playing Prince Edward of Andalasia in Enchanted, the Notebook actor has appeared in a wide variety of genres. He's been cast in rom-coms like 27 Dresses, dramas like Shock and Awe, and action-adventure films like Sonic the Hedgehog. Whoa! Would you learn how to drive? Here, in this truck. It's happening as we speak. On the small screen, Marsden has been seen in comedies and tragedies alike with roles ranging from Criss Cross in 30 Rock to Teddy Flood in Westworld. The actor plays not one, but two characters in the Netflix series Dead to Me. He's proven to be a versatile and underrated actor. Luckily for fans, Marsden does reprise his role as the not-too-bright prince in the 2022 film Disenchanted. We bring some magic from Andalasia to this drab and most unmagic world beyond. Number 3. Susan Sarandon the award-winning actress tapped into her wicked side as the evil queen of Andalasia for the 2007 Disney movie. When we return home, all of Andalasia shall know of your treachery. Your days as queen will be over! Take my crown? Don't you think that's a bit melodramatic, dear? Since then, she's continued to work in film and television. Some of her more recent roles include Grandma Lynn in The Lovely Bones and Janet Good in You Don't Know Jack. She also starred in a single season of an FX anthology series, playing Betty Davis at the point of her feud with Joan Crawford. I'm offering you the title role, the lead. You can call it that. Besides acting, Sarandon has gotten involved with documentary making. She's held roles on both sides of the camera, as an interviewee, narrator, and executive producer. She doesn't make a reappearance in the 2022 Disney sequel, Disenchanted. If you've seen the first movie, though, then you know why. Number 2. Patrick Dempsey Having gained popularity as Dr. Derek McDreamy Shepard, Dempsey is considered a modern Prince Charming. 
His casting in Enchanted as Giselle's real-world love interest, Robert Phillip, perfectly suits this image. It's not possible. It couldn't be me. Don't you I see? I barely know her. I've only known her for a few days. It has to be. Sir Robert. It's okay. Following the Disney film, he was a regular on the medical drama Grey's Anatomy until the end of its 11th season. He also appeared in a few romantic comedies over the years, including Maid of Honor, Valentine's Day, and Bridget Jones's Baby. For better or worse, fate has brought us together. It wasn't fate, it was condoms. In addition to being an actor, Dempsey is passionate about auto racing. He's competed in events like the Rolex 24 at Daytona and Ensenada Score Baja 1000 off-road race. His reprisal as Robert in Disenchanted is his first film role since 2016. A very large and cranky dragon is just what I've been looking for. Won't be a moment. Number 1. Amy Adams Though she'd previously earned an Oscar nomination for a supporting role, Adams' first success in a lead role was as the optimistic yet naive Giselle. With top-notch acting skills and a voice fit for a Disney princess, she won audiences and critics' hearts alike. Now a bona fide Hollywood star, she's appeared in a variety of film genres, from musicals to historical dramas to sci-fis. She's been nominated for an Academy Award six separate times. Just do your job, okay? You're nothing to me until you're everything. As for her work in television, her performance as a distressed journalist in the HBO miniseries Sharp Objects garnered praise. In 2017, Adams received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She reprises her role as the Andalasian maiden in the 2022 sequel Disenchanted, which premiered 15 years after the first. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.